guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm actually doing a Valentine's Day collaboration with Stacey Lynn. So I'll be putting the link to her video in the description. Please go check out her video after watching this and give her likes and subscribe to her too. She makes some really awesome videos and she's actually the one that did the giveaway where I won this, which is really cool. So you might want to subscribe to her for future giveaways because I use this all the time. It's honestly like the best palette. So thank you so much for this. Anyway, so this is the Valentine's Day look that I came up with. With. The lips are darker than I thought they would be, but I don't know, I kind of like it. Didn't do a wing because I wanted to go for this like flirty, fluttery look, so yeah, if you like it, then please keep watching and you'll see how I did it. Hi guys, so, okay, just go out of focus. Okay, so hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so all I'm wearing on my face right now is still a tinted moisturizer just because there's no real skill in putting it on, it's kind of boring, so I decided to just skip it and... Ow! That just smashed into my face! It also is like sort of my primer. Normally I would put on like an actual primer if I'm gonna be staying out all night, but this is just for the video, so I'm just gonna save my primer. I'm really not so sure exactly what I'm doing. I sort of have an idea of what colors I want to use, but I don't know exactly what I want to do, so I'm going to kind of feel it out as I go. Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Medium Brown. I don't want to make them so like Instagram perfect. I think I'm going to try making them a little more fluttery just so it doesn't look so perfect and it's a little more natural looking. So I'm just going to try not to fill it in so dark and leave this area kind of undone a little bit. So I'm kind of just going to like define under here just so that it's still kind of clean. But I'm not going to really touch there too much. Take a clean spoolie brush. Is that what it's called? And I'm just going to brush it up. Why does it look so weird in the camera? It doesn't look like that. I'm still trying to figure out if I should go to the like pinkish purpley like more flirty type thing or if I want to do like the bright red lip and like a little more like sensual. I don't want it to look like, like a holiday look but then on the other hand I also just did a Barbie tutorial and that's kind of like pink and flirty and I don't want it to look like that so we'll just kind of see how it goes. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's gonna be a mess. I'm gonna set my face with Laura Mercier setting powder. If anyone knows of a cruelty free version that is as good as this, please let me know so I can switch over. Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm just gonna put this on one eye for now, just because I think I'm gonna do my entire eye first. I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Custom Shadow Palette. Freaking siren. I'm gonna take Nude as a base, as usual. And like I've said before, this isn't really meant for color. Like, it's basically my skin color, but it just creates like a, a good blending surface. Okay, I think. Oh shit. I'm gonna take my Modern Renaissance palette. This is a good palette for Valentine's Day. I'm going to take Venetian Red. You wanna get a matte color. Is this matte? It's matte enough. Sephora Crease Blender Brush. Grab a little bit. You don't want too much. For the crease. Are those my veins or is that like a wrinkle? Oh, kitty. I'm going to take this Flynn. Take a thin flat brush. This one's from my Vanity Planet brush set. I'm gonna take Too Faced Totally Cute palette. I'm gonna take, it says, it's called I Heart TF, so I'm guessing it's I Love Too Faced. This pink color right here on the outside here. This one's got sparkles in it, so I'm keeping it on the lid. For the middle part, I'm going to take this color on my custom palette. The color is Blushing. It's a pretty fitting name for Valentine's Day makeup. I'm putting that in the middle here. Oh god, it's not even coming off. I'll try a little bit more potion. I'm gonna take a little more primer potion just in the inner third. Take Vermeer, which is like a light shimmery pink in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. That's a long sentence. And I'm cleaning my brush in between each color, so do that too. Drag it down on the inner tear duct here. So even if you don't have these exact colors that I'm using, basically all I'm doing is taking three shades of a shimmery pink, and I'm putting the lightest on the inner third, the middle lightest on the middle third, and the darkest on the outer third. 
and I'm gonna try to like blend them into each other. Kind of like a halo eye, but you're using a light color in the inner instead of the dark color. I put a matte in the transition. You can use any transition really. I just decided to use like a more reddish base color, but you can also just use like the typical like warm nudie type color. I'm actually gonna layer a little bit more of that. I don't like the way this color on my eye. It is not sitting like it should. I'm not really sure why it's like kind of like crunching there together on my eye. Like it's making it so wrinkly on my eye, which is really weird. So let's see if it does that on the other eye. I think in order to prevent that, I don't think I'm going to put primer on this eye until I'm ready for the lid just because I don't want to layer it on twice because I think that's what happened here. So we're just putting a nude again all over as a base. A blender brush, taking some Venetian Red. I like to go slightly above my crease just so that it lifts the eye a little bit, doesn't go onto the lid, but everyone's eye shape is different. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the primer on and I'm gonna do it color by color just because I don't want it to dry before I'm ready for it. I heart TF just on the lid and I'm gonna take a little more primer potion. Anastasia Beverly Hills blushing. Yeah, it's already looking much better. I think I'm gonna have to redo this eye. A little bit more on the inner third. And I'm going to take Vermeer from the Modern Renaissance palette. I just fix it up until it looks right. All right, so I'm going to like redo the lid on this eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so I tried to sort of fix this eye. It looks so much more red in the camera. I didn't want it to be like that crazy. Tempera on my brow bone area just cause I'm really anxious to clean this up here. I'm gonna do a concealer now. Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I'm not sure why I set under my eyes before because I wasn't wearing concealer. I guess I forgot. But I'm going to take my Laura Mercier setting powder and set that concealer. And again, I'm not going to bake just because I'm not going out. So I don't really need this to stay on smoothly for all night. But if you're planning to have a long night, then you might want to bake. So you would just put a lot of setting powder on under your eye and then let it set for a few minutes before wiping it off. That'll give you a nice smooth finish that'll last longer. I think I'm actually going to take raw sienna for under my eyes. And I'm gonna take a little Venetian red, which is what I used in my creases, and just use it on the outer bottom, just to darken that and connect it into the top. All right, I'm gonna put on my lashes first before moving on to eyeliner, just because I wanna see what it looks like first with this before I decide what kind of liner I wanna do. These are like my favorite lashes. They're NYX Wicked Lashes. I don't know if it has a name, but it says WL12, so it's basically these nice little fluttery lashes and for someone like me whose eyelashes typically like to be straight and I kind of really want to give my eyes more of a lift these are longest in the center so it kind of makes your eye look more open this is the second time I'm purchasing these lashes because the first ones I kind of worn out already so you want to curl your lashes before you put your lashes on so here I'm using NYX faux lashes and the reason that you do this is mainly so that your natural lashes don't stand out against the fake lashes. Because if your lashes are like a different color and going straight and then the other lashes are going like up, then you'll see that you're wearing fake lashes very obviously. You want them to blend. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Don't stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Why do you keep pulling off my lash? Stop doing that. Stop it. Holy crap! That should not have been that difficult. It normally is not that difficult, but these are just really stubborn. So I really love these lashes. They're so fluttery and they actually stay up. My issue a lot of the times is that even when I wear fake lashes, they like fall flat. Yeah. No, I don't 
my Sephora liquid liner and I'm just going to fill in the spaces but I don't want it to be too big of a line I'm just trying to connect the lash line okay so see I'm just filling in the lash line but I'm not making a wing I think I think that is what I'm agreeing on I want it to be flirty and flittery and up not like edgy Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I'm gonna use this to contour and I'm gonna make it the heaviest right under this bone right here and swoop it down. I love that I can taste the chocolate in this. I always have to check what it looks like on camera because it always looks different than it does in the mirror. I'm basically darkening like around my face and under the shadows because you want the lightest points to be like where the light would hit you. This will make you have a nice glow. It'll make your partner love you on Valentine's Day. Or if you're single and you're walking down the street and you have amazing makeup and you look like you're just glowing, then like maybe someone on the street will be like, hey, wanna be my Valentine? but say no because that's creepy. Don't forget your jawline and down your neck, ladies. And also in this spot here, behind your jawline, under your ear, if you're darkening your face and you miss that, it kind of gives everything away. Blend into your neck. Benefit Rocket Share Blush. Oh no, this is coming off here. Just putting this blush on the apple of my cheek and I'm bringing it up pretty high here. For highlights, I'm gonna take my fan brush and I'm gonna use Moonchild Glow Kit Pink Heart. Ah! I mean, why would you not use Pink Heart on Valentine's Day? Like, it's perfect. We're gonna go above the brows, on right above the arches, down the cupid's bow, down the nose, tip of the nose, I'm actually just going to use my finger to go over that down the nose tip and I'm going to go over the cupid's bow. See a nice little shine over the tear ducts a little bit and just like on the highest point of the brow, like a little ball right there. Brow bone, not your brow. I'm going to take a lip liner, MAC Edge to Edge. We'll go. I really hope this doesn't look too much like my Barbie look. I think I'm gonna do a darker lip. I might regret this and I might take it off, but I'm gonna try Avenue, the ColourPop. I'm hoping this will match like my creases. Ah, it's a little dark. Some more of my mascara and elongate my bottom lashes. The only advice I have about wearing mascara on your bottom lashes is to make sure you really layer on setting powder right underneath it. Otherwise, you're just gonna look like you were crying all night and it's not pretty. But another thing, if you are putting on setting powder, you want to make sure it's something that doesn't have a flashback because you don't want to be sitting there thinking you look all cute and then someone takes a picture of you with the flash and then you look like a panda under your eyes. This one does not have a flashback, so you can really layer on some powder. Take a white NYX liner for the waterline. We'll go. This will make you look wide-eyed. Not sure how I feel about this. I'm still deciding if I should change the lip color. I might mix. I might put some lovesick Kat Von D on top. I might regret this. This will just lighten it and get it some pink. And I'm starting with that in the center just so that it doesn't blend completely. It looks more ombre. it's much better. This is like a more berry color. And I like that better. Oh, it's coming off again. God. Ladies, watch your lashes. Okay, so that brings this tutorial to an end. If you like this look, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you actually do recreate this look, I would love to see it. Please put it on Instagram or Twitter or something and you can tag me on Instagram, it's at Danny Mary YouTube, and I will definitely give it a like or maybe even repost it. Please make sure to go check out Stacy Lynn's video. She's also going to be doing a Valentine's Day tutorial, and I'm sure it's going to be really awesome. I'm really excited to see it, so I'll put the links in the description. So please check out her video. Give her all the love. Comment down below what you guys will be doing for Valentine's Day, and if you will be eating lots of chocolate, because I know I will be. 
and the best thing to do for Valentine's Day, honestly, is to wait till the week after and then get all the candy 50% off at all the drugstores, so that's a really fun trick. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching, it means so much to me, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't get too crazy, kids. Oh, uh, diarrhea is important. I've cleaned his diarrhea like four times today. Focus. Focus. Come on, I need to get out of here. That's not focus. That's not focus. No. 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 No, it's still not good. Maybe if I go further away. Come on. Focus. Am I gonna have to manually do this?